Hello, N4H and H here. Some of you have asked about the uh, decoder on the um, FTDX10, or well, some of you have commented that it doesn't seem to be um, uh, very good at tracking what's being received. And actually, it, it, it is. If you look at the signal on that one there, it's just not much to work with. Uh, you'll see though, when the next station comes back in, he's got a stronger signal. Now, it is also important that you have minimized the noise floor using such things as IPO and attenuation. I didn't need to do it here because I'm using, uh, you can't see this on the radio, but I'm using manual notch. I'm going to turn that off. I'm using digital noise reduction set at 15. I'm going to turn it off. And now I'm going to turn off audio peak filter. Now you'll notice the needle will move up a little bit more now that I've turned off those uh, features. Uh, predominantly it's the uh, narrow filter that does that and I'm going to widen that out. There we go. That's the default 500 hertz. You see, he's actually hitting S4. But the first thing we do, uh, m most of us with a CW receiver, is we, we narrow that width. Now, in the old days, you know, you were fortunate if you could uh, afford to put a 300 hertz roofing filter in your radio. Now this radio does have a 500 hertz crystal roofing filter, a physical filter that some radios no longer these days have. Uh, you know, for example, the 7300, it's all digital filtering. Um, so I'm, I'm going to help the 500. If you think about it, when I run this up to 500, that's strictly, you know, that's, that's just what you would get with a 500 hertz roofing filter. But now I'm digitally assisting it with the width control on the radio. Now it's decoding that correctly. And I haven't even engaged a digital noise reduction. Here it comes. And now I'm going to enable audio peak filter. That just pops the volume up a little bit. It seeks out and amplifies whatever frequency your side tone is. In my case, 600 hertz. Now see, as he, as he fades from QSB, you're going to get some EEs there, EEEs, those are errors. It's just interpreting what little bit it hears as an E. But you could also argue that E stands for error, but really it's just the signal was so light that all it was getting was a dit. See, when it gets up around S3, it'll start becoming more reliable. And you also have to know enough about CW to understand some of the uh, shorthand that is used. Like UR means U, Y-O-U, R, A-R-E. E-S for and. It's just quicker to send dit, did it dit instead of did a da dit da did it. So, I guess let me say it this way. Buying this radio, if you don't know anything about CW and you buy this radio and expect that you're going to sit down and have a QSO on CW, mm, that's not realistic. I recommend that you still take some CW training, either from your local club, an Elmer, uh, or 
I've seen a lot of great results from the Long Island CW Club. Uh, one of our one of our newer hams here, who's only been an amateur now, not even quite two years, and he started into CW before he'd even uh, been licensed for a year, and he is uh, well into the 20 plus words per minute uh, range now, and he did the uh, Long Island CW training. So I, I can safely say, well, I haven't taken it myself, I, I'm pretty, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that that is a good uh, learning tool. So you do have to know enough about CW to understand the shorthand, is my point. You know, GM is good morning. GA, good afternoon. GA could mean Georgia, so you just got to understand the context, too. I'm looking up there, I see an ES where he used it for and. And when warm, you know. Now the equal sign, that's correct as well. Uh, da 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 da, it just means you're pausing between thoughts. HR, here. Here using vertical, also. Mm, Aslo, I think I think he must have sent that backwards. <laughs> After Lee fall F slash L I'm not sure what he means by C H O N and B N D. People come up with some of their own. It seems like it might be something like not change band first, forty kilohertz. I'm not sure. See, they're not trying to use proper grammar here. Everything is shortcutted. It's it's the reason we have the Q signals, the Q codes, uh, QSL, QRP, QTH. You know, those three letters can mean a sentence. QTH means what is your location, or my location is. Again, depending upon the context. I see the other station's just not quite strong enough for the decoder to lock onto. My ear can't even lock onto it. That was correct, the C and the I. Give it a little bit to work with. Now I can try amp two. But see, it's gonna introduce some filter ripple. So now I'm gonna engage my manual notch And this, this notch filter is so tight. My, my side tone 600 watts. I can practically knock my side tone out. But if I back off 40, 50 hertz below what my side tone frequency is with the manual notch, using amp two to, uh, I, I can use the notch to knock down the filter ripple I'm getting from amp two because amp two is pushing more signal through the, uh, the filter. Now somebody else is sending on top of him. Okay, let me say one more thing before I close this video. You need to go into your radio, into your menu, and set the CW speed anyway if you're going to send, okay? 
but the decoder seems to like you to set the speed, even though if you're not going to send, it wants you to set the speed somewhere close to what you're listening to. In other words, if I turn it all the way down to four, it's not going to decode. Just getting some errors there. Let's let's say I think that's somewhere in the 20 words per minute range. So DE from W5WSF QSL confirm that I, you know, that I heard what you said. Enjoy COF. Oh, co oh there we go. Coffee. Enjoy coffee. He, he, that's a a high high, which means a laugh. 73, see you again. That's not gibberish. It means I will see you again. See you again. Now, you could also send C-U-L, see you later. And then he, of course, mentions the gentleman's name, Don. Thank you. And uh, I'm not sure what the XB was, but he sent that a couple of times. And then D-E from... W5 FGM and then CLE. Oh, that's that's just noise. He faded down. Probably the CL, maybe C later. And it missed the U. So, you know, if you get it adjusted right, it's going to decode enough that if you're learning CW, this will give you uh, an assist. I wouldn't advise you to try to become a CW operator just based on a decoder. No, but it can help you. And since it's already there on this particular radio, why not take advantage of it? So, uh, yeah, they sent their 73, so they're finished. So I'll finish the video. Just wanted you to see it can decode. Uh, and I didn't, in this case, their signals were such that I didn't really, um, even though I'm down here on the 40 meter band, I didn't really have to use a attenuation and IPO. I will say ordinarily on the 40 meter band, I would, I would at least have IPO enabled, uh, which is gonna cut that noise down in the front end. These two are critical to the decoder. If there's noise in there, it'll struggle. But this radio has enough filtering in it that you can clean that up and make it, uh, uh, you know, really really sound good but also you give the decoder uh something to work with all right well hey uh thanks for watching thank you patreons for helping me keep the channel going i do appreciate you very very much and if anyone else would like to become a patreon and help me keep uh, this channel going and bring you this type of content uh, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash n4hnh www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And of course, if you would, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Those help as well. And, uh, and then, of course, if you will click the bell, you will be notified when I upload the next video. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. And 73 from N4HNH.